for center of mass. Center of mass or center of gravity. Single objects have a center of mass. Systems of objects also have a center of mass. For example, our solar system has a single center of mass. A system is simply a group of objects. The simplest system is one consisting of two objects. And the center of mass of a system of two objects of M1 and M2 is the point where they will balance if joined together. Here we have a system of two objects linked together by a small rod. And let's say we can balance it at this point, this whole system. So if you put a fulcrum there, it will balance. And then by using the idea of torques, then we can work out the anti-clockwise torque, which is the force of this one, the weight of this one times the distance here, is equal to the clockwise torque, which is the weight force of this one times the distance here. Then if you work through the mathematics, you will come up with this relationship. Now, in relation to a point P outside the system of two objects, the formula becomes like this. And that distance x con is from there to the center of mass. Here is the example worked out for you. You can just work through it yourself. Center of mass and conservation of momentum. The law of conservation of momentum applies only to isolated systems, which means there are no external forces acting, such as friction or gravity, as mentioned before. The formula of momentum can also apply to a system of objects, to a group of objects. So the momentum of the whole group of objects is equal to the mass of the whole system times the velocity of the center of the whole system. For an isolated system where there's no external forces acting, its velocity is constant, doesn't change. Same example taken from the momentum video where two objects collide and after collision they move over the common velocity. To find this velocity, instead of using the principle of conservation of momentum which says total momentum before collision equal to total momentum after collision, we can also use the idea of velocity of the system or mass of this whole system before collision equal to the velocity after collision. So we worked out the velocity before collision first by using that formula and it works out to be 4 meter per second. And therefore we can also say that the velocity of the center of mass of the whole system after collision is also 4 meter per second.